start with, uh, I know you're a SPIA major, right? Yes. What interests you about being a SPIA major? Um, actually, in, my, in high school, I had uh, two marketing teachers that really influenced me, of like going like the business way. And um, I, uh, SPIA seemed more, uh, more to fit me than Kelly, but um, my two uh, teachers, Ms. Schoenauer and Mr. Saeed, in high school definitely influenced me to go towards SPIA. So what do you want to do with it? Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm still young, so uh, I've got uh, some time to think about it, but you know, hopefully I'm going to something with management. But um, I'm not sure yet. What are the classes that really interest you that, that, that you've been going through? I mean, to where you're really you're kind of excited to go to class. Um, right now I'm in a class. Uh, I th it's something to do with like urban development. And uh, right now we have a project that's due in a couple weeks. And we have like our own island. And we basically have to find everything for it. We have to find like the water supply, electric supply, um, the tourist attractions, ways to find money. And um, that... Uh, that really catches me, and you know I look forward to going to that class every day. What did, what drew you to Bloomington? What? What drew you to Bloomington to want to play here? I had to say the campus, all the coaches, they're all young, they can relate to us. You know they're easy to talk to. Um, uh, Coach Jagger, he went to my high school. He made a really easy uh, transition for me, and just the atmosphere, and just a, it's a great campus. You've been gone for a couple of years, but what do you miss about high school? Um. Uh, this, Probably the, the laid back practices. Um, one of my coaches that had a had a really big influence on my life is um, Coach Walker. He's uh, really good friends with my brother. They actually graduated the same year of high school, and he was my wide receivers coach. And he's telling me ever since I was a sophomore that I could uh, I could make it to college, and even you know, in the future you never know. Like you could go to the NFL, who knows? But you know, he does a big, big inspiration on me, and um, that's what I miss most. What do you like most about being in college? The probably the atmosphere, people just um, the people just look up to the, the athletes a lot, and um, you know uh, you you have to be like an icon. You have to always like look at what you're saying, who who you're talking to, and um, just I don't know. The atmosphere of college is just it's kind of, it's ridiculous. Is it hard to to keep that in mind when you're just trying to be a college kid, and you know you do have people that are that are looking at you? Yeah, it's it can be tough sometimes, but you know it's. It's like it can be motivation, also, you know, to, to make you a better person, um, a better player, a better, a better everything all around. You know, you just have to like watch your back and you know, be careful what you say, and um, just be nice to people and just uh, play that role. I know that you played lacrosse in high school. You know, is that right? Yep. What did you like about lacrosse? Um, How did you get into playing lacrosse? I play. I started playing in first grade, and um, it was a big is. In my high school, we started, I think, I might have been the first year that we ever played, and I actually started playing with um, people that are like four or five years older than me. I was like six, and I was playing with 10 and 11-year-olds. My dad was the coach, and obviously he's the one, um, he influenced me to play in lacrosse, and um, I really, really liked it. And, you know, I like the speed of the game. Um, it's more of like just being athletic and doing, just getting around the person and not like, being so um, like concise and just um, like running the perfect route or whatever, you can just like freelance basically. Yeah. And um, I actually was thinking about playing uh, lacrosse in college. Okay. But then you know um, I ended up loving fo football a lot more. Yeah. How did that make you a better football player, lacrosse? Um, f footwork, uh, just being fast, um, just uh, made me a lot more coordinated than uh, and. Um, I don't know. Just it all it, it complements football in a lot of ways. Just I don't know in a lot of ways. Who's the first person you text or call when you get done with the game? Um, man, lately, lately they've been uh, my phone's been blowing up after games. But um, probably the first people I go and talk to are my parents. You know, I, I leave. I look. Put my put my phone down and um, I wait for. The, I put it aside and I go and talk to my parents after the game. You know. I get to see them rarely, and it's like a vacation going home. But um, I definitely talk. I talk to them first because they're going to every game. You okay? With some people calling you touchdown Teddy. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the names. The name Teddy's been picked up a lot lately, wow. and um, I don't know why. But I feel like do you not like Teddy. No, I don't mind it at all. But uh, I feel like whenever it has to do with football, Teddy just comes into people's minds, and I don't okay. know why. But you know, I'm accepting it, and you know, some people uh, may think it's. 
uh, a girly name, but, you know, I'm taking that role. You happy with the touchdown part of that? Yeah, you know, I'd take that any day. <laughs>